Today we have a video of my little baby in the picture. He's probably going to move around a lot. Um, but of Rogue Shake. Now the difference between Rogue is that they have different variations of their energy drinks. I believe it's hydration to extreme to then just a normal energy drink. Um, so how to make a Rogue Shake. One level scoop or one single serve packet. Which is we're going to try today's cooking cream. Mix with... Do not mix with water. Mix with 16 ounces of cold milk. I have to go and get that. Wait five minutes to let the flavors blend. So, oh, it fell to the floor. Use this. You see this? Use this. 16 ounces of milk. Right, okay, so it's not even with water. Every flavor is with milk. That's interesting. Um, they gave you a little sticker, which is cool, with all the flavors. I'm assuming. No cooking cream there. It's all the flavors. So that's cool. I don't even know if it's a sticker, to be honest. Yeah, it is a sticker. You now, just so anyone's curious, I have pink lemonade, which we review. <coughs> Strawberry lemonade. Also, the reason why I picked pink lemonade is literally due to the fact uh, of the Luke's Day pink lemonade. I used to drink while I was at work. This is high, so I also want to point out this is normal energy. This was extreme energy. Uh, this is hydration. The same with cookies. Might just be a shake, it's just a shake. And then you have another energy. So, that, whoops, energy, which is grape popsicle. Um, Doesn't even tell you the uh, caffeine. Caffeine, 300 milligrams, so it does. So the energy norm just has 175, which is more than sneak. This has 300, which is always a good sign. And then hydration has, this has none in it. And then you save 25% on the next order. So if I like this cooking cream one, obviously buy the top for it. So let's just look at the pack. Maybe that'll do. Zero calories, zero sugar, mixed with 16 ounces of milk. This Gucci. Um, anything that sticks out. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not this product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, present any disease. So we have now 16 ounces of milk, which is a lot of milk, by the way. And this could literally be like 150 calories in milk. So the zero calorie thing is a bloody lie because you're wanting to mix with milk. Now I don't know if you can get milk that's zero calories. Maybe an almond milk. No, that's a big fat whopper. You can't. Not that to my knowledge anyway, so it's not, it's like Sneak saying like 35 pounds for a tub, one of the cheapest on the market, and then they go, well, it's 3 99 for a post and packaging, so it goes to like 40 quid. It's like, well, it's not 35 pounds for a tub, is it? It's 39 99 and you want us to pay uh, 38 99 sorry. Uh, but you're like, well, you can get it free if you buy two tubs. Have you spent 50 pounds? What the fuck do I want to spend 50 pounds on two tubs? What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? So I'm hoping this is going to taste like an Oreo, to be brutally honest. Cooking cream. Now, I've been disappointed with protein shakes that taste like cooking cream. Um, so let's just make sure we know exactly what we're doing. So we have one level scoop mixed with 16 ounces of cold milk, which I have. Do not mix with water. Wait five minutes to let the flavor build. Last breach, that. Let's go! I don't know why I stopped buying that. Okay. Good old teeth does the work. It, 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 it's like they glued down the packet. Um, 
for now I've got it open. The powder. <laughs> Peace be upon you. Ugh. There's like a 0 0.2.4 second where it's nice like right at the beginning and then it just hits you with fucking cardboard. <laughs> it's gonna taste horrible. So you can see it's, it's white powder. Ugh. It, it tastes like really... Sorry, it smells like... It just smells like like a stale Oreo. So when has this gone off? These have me some gone off shit. 2022. So, it says to... Mix it. Should be enough for mixing and it says to wait five minutes to settle we're gonna give it a taste a, a smell taste sorry smell test no that smells that smells just that smells disgusting no it doesn't it smells like vanilla and milk so it says five minutes so i'll come back and right i've just watched two videos of people reviewing this and they both were like it's amazing it's 10 out of 10. i swear to christ if you're lying to me I'll have your head on a spike. It it smells, yeah, it smells not good, but I'll be very surprised if this is good. Oh, didn't want this on my face. There we go. I have some apologies to do. <laughs> Look, it's not the best drink ever. Does it taste like cookies and cream? Yes. Would I buy a tub? No. You're mixing it with milk. The, like, the, the fact that they advertise that is zero calories, it's not. Yes, the product is zero calories, but you also have to advertise that mixing milk is going to be calories. Like, mixing with water, zero calories. Why do companies do this? Well, I understand why companies do it because it's a business. It's not very highly advertisable to be like, hey, um, it's going to be like 200 calories, 150 calories with milk because milk is calories. And it's nice. Way better than the smell. The smell is like a 2 out of 10. It's just above the sneak stealth it almost made me throw up. Um, this was just there. This was just like above it. So. It's nice. I'll give you that, Rogue. That is nice. It's 180 calorie, uh, 180 caffeine, milligrams of caffeine in it. Um, it does taste like cooking cream. I'll give you that. I'll give you that for free. I will give you that for free. Because in fact, I had to pay for this. But I will give you my review for free. Rogue. I wouldn't buy a tub. It's way too sickly. Like, if I had a tub, it would be something that I would drink, oh my god, once a month. Like, if I was really in a craving sweet mood. The good thing about this drink, where it has zero calories and you only have a milk, is that... If you were on a diet, a calorie deficit, and you somehow had spare calories that you could make up with having milk, and you wanted something super sweet, but you know, 
Look at the cookies are cream. You know, the cookies are. Like you wanted an Oreo, but you don't want to eat Oreo because it's too fat. This is a good alternative if you can maintain a calorie deficit with the milk, um, because it's a lot of milk. It's 180 milligrams of milk. That's like 150, 200 calories on the top of my head. It might not be, but that's on the top of my head. The number I'm thinking of. Um, It is nice. I am I am actually surprised that it tastes nice. I am looking for the other flavours because this does taste like cookies and cream. I'll give it I, I would give it an eight out of ten for taste. Um definitely not smell. Just don't smell it. I'll save you the time. But eight out of ten for taste. The other flavours, this does taste like cookie cream. I'm excited to try the other flavours because the way that this tastes like cookie and cream. So um yeah. If you like, if you love cookie and cream, if you love it, then buy a tub. It does taste like it, but I think it's too sweet. I think the milk puts me off. Um, the smell put me off, but it is nice. But I think most things are going to taste nice with milk, isn't it? A protein shake tastes better with milk, for example. You have it water, it kind of tastes bloody disgusting. But with milk, it has that extra yum, yum, yum to it. Where obviously this does too. Um, it's okay. It is okay. Uh, overall, I'd give it a 6 out of 10 just because it's sickly. The taste is nice. The smell is horrible. But it's sickly. So it brings the 8 out of 10 taste down to a 6. And, you know, the 2 out of 10 also brings down the, uh, the overall. But it is a good product that tastes like cookies and cream. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best thing I've tasted. But it... Yeah, it, it's, it's good. 